The First Lady of Osho State, Relu Ngozi Adeleke, over the weekend launched a skill acquisition program for empowering women and youths of the state. The program, which was powered by Esther Adeleke Humanitarian Foundation, was aimed at unlocking abundantly the potentials and opportunities embedded in the skill acquisition program as a means of empowering youths and women. The ones who cost most care businesses, they want to help us train in Osho, train them and even help them to uh, register their companies and even give grants to the ones that they felt they are doing very well in their businesses. No fewer than 30 beneficiaries who were selected from all the local government areas in the show state made up of the participants that were drawn from the flag of, of a skill acquisition program under an NGO, Esther Deleke Humanitarian Foundation Empowerment and Skills Acquisition Program tagged Empowering Communities building a better tomorrow. I picked them from across all local governments. That's why I have 30 of them in this place today, enrolling for this uh, program. That's the criteria. I'm looking at young people to get them engaged to, in something meaningful. The training program scheme, which is to last for one year, will see the lucky beneficiaries engage in sensitive skills acquisition training that includes computer and graphic design, soap making, catering and shoe making, photography, fashion designing, and cosmetology, among others. At the end of the training, the 30 participants will be supplied with starter parks and seed funds to start up their businesses. They should know that this is their life. When they take it as a business, they should face and concentrate on what they are teaching them. At the end of the day, I pray that God will them true. In Nigeria is that everybody is focusing on academic qualification and so people don't even read for exam, they just cram and then pass and get a certificate and then they know nothing, they have no skill. If you are to go abroad, carrying a certificate is of no value, it is what you are able to do. In a telephone interview with Lip TV News, while responding to the kind gesture of the First Lady, a US-based business tycoon and philanthropist, Chief Dr. Magdalene Nwaka. Agada, president and founder of Open Hands Amazing Charity Organization, New York and UK, commended the recent launch of a transformative skill acquisition program for young women in Osho State by the First Lady. While pledging her unalloyed commitment and support of her foundation to that of the Esther Deleke Humanitarian Foundation, she urged other First Ladies and well meaning Nigerians to follow suit in putting smiles on the faces of the indigenous citizens around them. Yeah, gospel. The reason why I, I'm interested in uh, supporting Chief Dr. Erelu Abeni Adeleke is that she's a woman with a great vision, a, a kind heart. You know, she has uh, the spirit of helping the youth, you know, in Nigeria who are going through hard time. She's a beautiful soul, a humble woman, a great woman, an intellectual, you know, a woman with a class, world class. Esther Adeleke Foundation. She has, you know, she's into different skill acquisition, training youths to discover who they are, to discover their calling. She's a woman that should be emulated. I Chief Dr. Mrs. Magdalene Waka Agada, the CEO and President of Open Hands Amazing Charitable Organization in New York, US, and in Nigeria. It's exactly similar to the program that I'm doing, educating changing you know the life of youths in nigeria to stay away from criminal activities and to stay uh, for them to stay away from hunger it is high time we women come together to join hands and emulate what chief dr mrs erilu adeleke and myself are doing in nigeria changing lives through skill acquisition and training and not only that empowering them with seed funds to be the best with their career. Some of the beneficiaries that spoke at the event appreciated Ngozi Erelu Adeleke for offering them such a life-chancing opportunity and assured her that they will make optimal use of the training. From Imole House, Ogolua, in Oshobo, the Oshu State Capital, it's been Gospel and Maliami Forbo reporting for Leap TV News. <laughs>